Governor's Office of Omenro Province, Ayutolga Company, Foundation of Intellectual Development of Gobi, UBS Television, present Omenro, largest IMAC or province of Mongolia, is the home to endless sand dunes that stretch into the distance, disturbing the calm surface of land like waves in the ocean. There are countless things to see, to learn, to discover, to be owned by in one of the largest deserts in the world. With a strong determination to explore secrets of nature and to expose all the wonders of the great land in South Gobi, our crew started the adventure of cruising around the desert. Many wonderful things are yet to be discovered by scientists in the desert oasis of Gobi, covered by gorgeous golden sand dunes, the land harbors, rare plants and animal species of which some can be found anywhere except Gobi. Since the territory of Omungov extends to different geographical zones, the nature, climate, plant and animal species and their distribution are reasonably different. The eastern part of province is a semi-desert steppe or desolate plain, while the western part is mostly mountains and hills. Accordingly, the plant and animal worlds, as well as the conditions of existence in different parts of the Gobi, are clearly dissimilar. Numerous mammals and ungulates of Gobi are listed in their International Union for Conservation of Nature Red List of Threatened Species, as well as National Red List. Some of the endangered animals of Earth, such as Gobi bear mazalai, snow leopard, Mongolian wild ass kulang, wild Bactrian camel, agali mountain sheep, goat-tailed gazelle, Mongolian gazelle, are taken under special protection to prevent extinction. Although small in size, threatened mammals that could compete with snow leopard by their rareness are long-eared jeboa, Kozlov's pygmy jeboa, and thick-tailed pygmy jeboa. In summer, as the soil gets unbearably hot and there is almost no water or shade to hide under, animals only come out to forage at dusk, down, or at night when the desert is cooler. Umenhof province is rich with rare predators that you can see or even track down if you are experienced. There are many animals that are included in the IUCN red list of threatened species such as snow leopard, palace cat, lynx and wildcat. Almost all of them are only active during the night. Some tourists come to the desert to see the long-eared jaboa, which have ears that are longer than half of their bodies. Others visit every two years to take pictures and videos of rare predators. In other words, Gobi is filled with eye-worthy landscape and rarest animals you could possibly never come across in other places. An oasis has water source which supports vegetation in the area. Trees that grow there provide shade. Where there is shade, moisture remains. Moisture gives life to vegetation. Vegetation creates conditions for living organisms to form, which in return become food for birds. Like so, the whole ecosystem of Gobi is formed. It is quite natural that most of the Gobi falls on the Omanov province since it extends along the desert's latitude. It is here that scientists find for their research rare species such as black-tailed gazelle, kulang, wild camel, gobi bear, and hobara bastard from the bird families.
rest. Under the glaring sun of Gobi, you might wonder if there are any animals left to catch glimpse of, as the only sound you can hear is the howling wind which carries desert sand to faraway places. That's exactly why footprints on the sand are the only source to find which animals went where and when. Most of the small predators of Gobi such as fox, corsac fox, palaces cat are primarily active only at night or during down. One of the very few mammals who have an ability to adapt to the desert climate is the Mongolian five-toed jibwa. The natives call this animal meteorologist of nature as it helps to determine if a sandstorm is coming or whether it is going to rain. Although copying with the heat of Gopi sounds absolutely daunting, it is these animals, small and big, that attract scientists and tourists from all around the globe. Scientists discovered that there are quite a few animal species that lived alongside dinosaurs in Gobi. For example, Gobi bear Mazalai is said to belong to Jurassic period, nevertheless survived to our days. Two subspecies of rare animal Saiga antelope lived in Mongolia, Saiga tatarica tatarica and Saiga tatarica mongolica. Saiga tatarica tatarica has gone extinct in our land and is now only found in Kazakhstan. Saiga tatarica mongolica, which existed since the Jurassic period, still can be found in Sharhin Gobi. There are also very rare species of rodents that live only in the southeast and southwest of Umunrov province, such as common long-eared bat, five-toed pygmy jabba, thick-tailed pygmy jabba. From 60 to 70 percent of the total number of kulans in the world live in Mongolia in three main regions, inner Gobi of Altai, Umunrov, and southern part of Dornrov, East Gobi. Mongolian gazelle, goated gazelle, and kulang migrate seasonally in search for more favorable living conditions. Omundrov province is not only the main stopping place for migrating birds, but also is a home to world's rarest bird species. Out of almost 500 bird species recorded in Mongolia, 246 are found in Omundrov province, including Mongolian ground jay Hubora bastard. Many researchers consider the Gobi oasis with the small lakes, trees and shrubs, a better place for photographing birds where they can be approached even closer than in a large forest and lakes. Early in the morning, when the first rays of sunlight shine through the Yalingam Gorge in Horvonsaka Mountains, you can witness dozen birds of prey such as the bearded vulture, Himalayan vulture, black eagle and golden eagle fly out of their nests to greet the new day. Bird explorers like to refer to this gorge as the bedroom for raptors. Orvansakham mountains, deserts and semi-deserts of Hangbogt, Kalpin Gobi, Nomgumborzun Gobi are undoubtedly one of the most important stopover sites for migrating birds and the living place for countless birds not only in Mongolia but on the whole world. Hangbogts, Ichpak Springs, Kalpin Gobi groups, Tsunsakham mountains, Vaindala, Tukmin, Sakhan Lake, Bolgan Tugurgin Shire, Sivrien, Hongring Hills, Korung Tissing, Hoot, Hurshut River are examples of oases that provide habitat for migratory and resident birds to stop by, rest, 
or lay eggs. As there is water, vegetation and food supply, these places seem to attract not only birds but various mammals as well. The amazing flora of South Gobi also attracts the attention of researchers from all over the world. Plants can survive up to several years without rain, which is the most incredible part. And when it finally rains, the dried roots seem to get more than enough water to survive the next long dry period that will inevitably come. More than 250 types of nutritious and powerful medical plants grow right in this area with extreme weather conditions. Some examples of nutritious plants include Nitraria, Orobanch, Sammolea, as well as woody plants such as Siberian Elm, Saxaul, Desert Poplar, Wolf Willow, and medical plants such as Astragalus, Adonis, Oxytropis, and many more. There is also Oyo, white and red Orobunch, which cannot be found elsewhere in the world, and it is mainly used for folk remedies. Seeing, feeling, experiencing, the very magic of nature sparks the curiosity in people's hearts. Without a cloud to get in the way, the view of millions of stars in the night sky is a magical sight one can get lost in. Many are surprised and impressed by how Mongolians can navigate by the stars as well as locate and name them expertly. Resembling pearls poured over black silk, the never-ending star seems so close in the Great Gobi that you might wonder if it's possible to reach them if you extend your arms to the sky. Sunstring over or Space Hill, which is located at the very heart of Yalingam, is considered to be the perfect place for stargazing. The Milky Way can be seen so clearly with the naked eye, which is the exact reason why tourists from all over the world come to this spot, especially Japanese tourists with the telescopes on their shoulders. It's very lucky that we have almost no cloudy days in Gobi, so the sky is always clear. A star researcher from Japan came to visit last year, and he stayed at the Hamburg resort. Looking through his telescope under the infinite stars, he said that he never felt so peaceful and carefree, surrounded by the Mongolian Ger and mountains. The Korunsaka mountains, towering above the earth, also seem to help see the night sky clearly. It is definitely a very special tourist destination. The tourism sector is expanding rapidly as demand for research and development increases. It is our goal to preserve the beauty of untouched nature, our tradition, history, and culture of nomads, and to familiarize them with the world. We sincerely hope that our adventure, uncovering few of endless secrets that nature holds, has sparked a desire in you to go on journey to one of the most wonderful corners of our planet, the Great Gobi.